scientists came up with a cover story yeah in july 2016 and the cover story said uh, parents teach your children to be narcissists mm. yeah that's where we are well, 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 I mean, uh, yeah, I was going to ask you about that, this helicopter parenting stuff, um, where children are not being exposed to any challenges. There was another thing I, I was reading this morning. I was actually watching. It was about council culture. Um, over 200 professors have been counseled in the United States um, in the last 20 years. Um, a, a colleague of Jonathan Heights was talking about this this phenomenon and it's a greater number of professors that have been cancelled than all, than all that were cancelled during mccarthyism in the 1950s um what's your perspective on dark triad council culture uh what's happening in society do you think there's there's elements of narcissism there the sociologist bradley said that uh bradley campbell mm said that we have trans we have transitioned from the age of dignity to the age of victimhood. Victimhood has become not only an organizing principle and a hermeneutic principle, principle that explains life, mm. makes sense of life, but also an identity determinant and consequently part of identity politics. Mm. Now, the problem with victimhood is this. If everyone is a victim, there's a problem to find who is victimized. Yeah. When you're a victim, you are compelled to find a victimizer. Even if there's no victimizer, even if your victimhood is self-imputed, mm. you would still work very hard to find a victimizer because the narrative would be incomplete mm. and ridiculous, mm. derisive, if, if you don't find a victimizer soon. So the studies... In Israel in 2020, four studies in Israel in 2020, other studies in British Columbia, mm. and, and recent studies in China and elsewhere, they're beginning to demonstrate, I think convincingly, that victimhood movements are infiltrated by narcissists and psychopaths who then take over and leverage victimhood movement, movements in two ways yeah. to obtain attention. It's a power and grab. And it's a power grab to penalize. Mm to sadistically mm. use the power to penalize, to coerce, not necessarily with a goal orientation, but to coerce as a performative action, mm. as, a, as a demonstration, to coerce ostentatiously. It's like a deterrent, if you wish. So many, many victimhood movements have been taken over by Nazis and psychopaths. Online, we have the empaths movement. Mm. There's no such thing as empath. It's clinical nonsense. These people are grandiose. Many of them are covert narcissists, I have no doubt. And yet they pose as these angelic, blemishless, faultless victims mm -hmm. who have been passively victimized by narcissists through no fault or contribution of their own. It's a classic splitting defense. I'm all good. The narcissist is all bad. I'm an angel. He's a demon. Mm -hmm. And many of them go to that extent. They say that Nazis uh, have been possessed by demons. Don't ask. Horrible. Mm -hmm. So it's an example of a victimhood movement, which started off by me, by the way, started off by me when I established support groups of victims of narcissistic abuse and then metastasized and mutated into a narcissism-controlled environment of ostentatious, declared, competitive victimhood, mm. thereby demonizing uh, the alleged abuser. This is an example in narcissism, but you have the same example in race, mm. same example in and now. When you when you have spotted the abuser, mm. when you have spotted the abuser, you need to demonstrate your power. It's part of the narcissistic psychopathic ma uh, matrix. Uh, rule book you need to demonstrate your power deterrence in in international affairs yeah. and, and you did mention that the vindictiveness aspect of it as well that yes. there is a vindictive quality to the destruction of somebody's reputation and, and very often their career for yes. the most minor sometimes agree uh, of offense um yes it accomplishes several several goals you demonstrate your power so mm. it's, it intimidate others you punish vindictively and visibly and conspicuously so you you have restored your grandiosity mm. 
this is a grandiosity restoring mechanism. Mm. And um, you may even have converted people to the cause by doing this. So it's, there's a missionary aspect mm. to this. And this is true, for example, with Me Too as well, because you, you're mentioning cancel, cancel mm. culture. Yeah. That's one aspect. <clears throat> but the Me Too movement, is, in my view, has mutated and metastasized. And today it's a vindictive, narcissistic, I would say psychopathic movement. Absolutely. Which is hell-bent on transforming or reversing the power matrix or power parallel parallelogram between men and women. So a chauvinistic um, movement that is the equivalent of the alleged patriarchy. <laughs> it's bad. It's a bad situation because these movements start off in the academy, they started. They 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 were, they were meant the ideas that were meant to stay within the academy. Places for discussion. It's legitimate. And it's legitimate for an idea to exit academy and yeah. And this all these movements, almost without a single exception, started off with good intentions. They yeah. were authentic. They represented real well, grievances. Yeah. yeah, real grievances. And I mean, women have been abused in corporate settings in the entertainment and the industry. No one is disputing this, and so on. Mm. So they started off well. But then they've been hijacked by Nazis and psychopaths. And Nazis and psychopaths couldn't care less who is a victim and who is not, mm. as long as they are the abusers. Now these movements are abusive. Mm. Victimhood movements and victimhood identity politics are absolutely abusive, coercive, psychopathic, antisocial, and narcissistic. Period. That's not some Vakni. These mm. are the recent academic studies. Hello, everyone. Uh, that's a short clip from an episode with Professor Sam Vaknin, where we talk about everything to do with narcissism. If you want to watch the full episode, it should be right about here. And the subscribe button should be right about somewhere down here. A big shout out and a big thanks to everybody that has subscribed so far. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll see you all in January. Thank you so much.